Question 5. So there are three reactions of uh, two bromopropane to form uh, three different products. Reaction 1 is from alcohol. So we know that the bromine has been substituted by OH. Second reaction is from the amine. So the bromine substituted by NH2. And the reaction 3, we know that it's elimination reaction because the H and B are removed from CC double bond. And for the elimination, you need to understand the hydroxide will react or will attack the hydrogens on the adjacent carbon. So the carbon with the Br, adjacent carbon with hydrogen. So this hydrogen will remove okay, together with the hydroxide. And CH bond break, this pair of electrons move to the CC bonding to form double bond. At the same time, CBr bonds break. This pair of electrons move to the bromine and this bromine will form bromide. So after elimination, it will form three products. It's form H2O, bromide, and the alkene. In this case, it's the propene. Okay, part A. Complete table 5.1 for each of the reaction, stating reagent and conditions, identify the type of reaction as well. Okay, so for this reaction one, again, this is the substitution reaction, alcohol form. So we know that we must use sodium hydroxide in water. So sodium hydroxide equals. And of course, the type of reaction is substitution. For the second reaction, we know that we must use ammonia. Ammonia in ethanol. Ammonia in ethanol and must heat under pressure. This is quite uh, special. For this reaction, heat under pressure. Okay, type of reaction is substitution. And this one is elimination. We must use sodium hydroxide as well. But now the sodium hydroxide need to be in ethanol. When sodium hydroxide in ethanol with heat, then the haloalkane it will undergo elimination. Right, type of reaction is elimination. Part B, a sample of two iodopropane, this one, reacts under the same condition as reaction one, produce the same alcohol. Explain why two iodopropane react faster than two bromopropane. Uh, for this one, you have to relate to the size of the halogen. We know that iodine has one extra shell than the bromine. So therefore, the CI bond is going to be longer. So means the distance here, the bond length is longer. And if it's longer bond means it's weaker, easy to break. Therefore, it just needs uh, lesser energies for it to react. That's why it has a lower EA. Lower EA means it's going to happen faster. right? Lower EA again is because of the bond length is weaker. Oh, sorry, bond length is longer and the bond strength is weaker, easy to break. Okay. Or you can uh, explain in this way, actually it's similar. Okay, iodine in the CI bond has weaker attraction of nucleus to share electron. So we know that the bond strength is because of the attractions between the nuclei to the share electrons here. If the attractions of the nucleus to the share electron is weaker, 
then of course the bond strength is weaker. Okay, because iodine is has more inner shell and greater shielding, the attraction of the nucleus to the shared electrons here is weaker. That's why it's easier to break. Okay, part C. Figure 5.2 shows how butane one o can be made from one bromopropane. This one? Okay, this is one, two, three. Okay, so first carbon with the bromine. Huh? So one bromopropane. And after that, uh, step one, after step one is from this nitrile. Okay, so it's from this butane nitrile. And we know that when a halo alkane, the bromine substituted by CN, so it's going to use the uh, cyanide, potassium cyanide in ethanol with heat. And after that, this nitrile will undergo um, hydrolysis. So hydrolysis means the CN bond break. This nitrogen will form ammonia. This will form COOH. Okay, after that you will see this part is from the butanoic acid. Okay, of course hydrolysis it must be the water and with the acid. It's better do it under reflux because hydrolysis takes time. After that, this carboxylic acid is undergo a reduction to form this alcohol. So we know that okay, the first step is oxygen is need, it needs to be removed. So this oxygen is removed. And after that, this carbon will get one hydrogen, this oxygen will get one hydrogen. So it actually involves two, two steps of reduction. Reduction. Huh? Okay, so for this uh, reaction, means this reduction, at the end we'll get this alcohol. So again, the reduction is involved two steps. First step is removal of one oxygen. Second is addition of two hydrogen. Right, to form this alcohol. Part 1. In step 1, one bromopropane reacts with the cyanide to form butane nitrile. Okay, complete figure 5.3 show all the charged dipole pair electrons and arrows. Okay, first you need to know the cyanide ions. The carbon is has lone pair and this lone pair will attack this partial positive carbon. Okay, and CBr bond break, the shared electrons here will move to the bromine and it will form bromax later, right? Form bromax with the lone pair. And of course, in this part, you need to show the dipoles, partial positive on carbon, partial negative on bromine. Okay, so, why is as partial positive negative because different electron negativity carbon is has uh, lesser electron negative and uh, bromine is has uh, more electron negativity okay that's why carbon is partial positive bromine is partial negative okay part two in step two butane nitrile is heated with uh, hcl a hydrolysis reactions of co. Construct an equation for the reaction in step two. Okay, this one uh, first uh, for hydrolysis it must involve H2O. The C and triple bond spray, this carbon will form COOH, okay, which will be butanoic acid, and this nitrogen will form ammonia. So eventually it will react with the HCl to form the ammonium correct. For this hydrolysis, you need to remember not just involve water, it must together with the HCl. 
because it will form the salts later. Okay, step three, a reduction reaction happen. Construct an equation uh, for this reduction using this H with square bracket as a reducing agent. Okay, so first you need to know the carboxylic acid will undergo two steps of reduction. And the first step is to remove oxygens here. And after that, this carbonyl carbon will add one hydrogen here and one hydrogen here, pi bonds break. Okay, so it will form this alcohol. Okay, therefore, the reaction equation is very easy. So again, these oxygens will combine with two hydrogens here to form H2O. And another two hydrogen needed okay, to form this to form this alcohol group. Right, this one. Okay, that's why total four hydrogens needed. Okay, state the identity of the suitable reducing agent. Uh, we must use the lithium aluminum hydride in dry ether only. Right, okay. You can give the full name. But uh, normally, uh, students will just give this uh, lithium aluminum hydride. Right. Okay, that's all for this question. Thank you.